What's good with y'all? It's Cameron in the video. Straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Also, make sure that you join the Discord, bro. The link will be down there in the description. We got great community, great tips. It's always lit up in the Discord, bro. So make sure that you click. Links are down in the description. And let's get into it, bro. I'm bringing you another banger today, bro. This one is going to be about how you need to stop trying, bro. Understand this, bro. Your life will get so much better when you learn how to stop trying so hard, bro. Because the problem with trying so hard in life whether it's girls, whether it's work, it doesn't matter what it is. When you try hard, bro, things are going to not go your way because you're overthinking, because you're pressing too hard. You care too much. You get stressed about it, right? You start thinking too much and you start making decisions that don't make sense. They're not rational, right? You make your best decisions and you do your best in life when you are relaxed. You got to understand that, bro. Even when it comes to the grind, see, everyone is like, oh, I got to grind. I got to grind. I got to grind. And that's great. But the grind shouldn't make you stressed out. It shouldn't make you overthink and stuff like that, bro. It shouldn't get to the point to where you feel like you feel like it's 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 almost hurting you to be on this grind, bro. Okay, the grind should feel like work, but it should also feel like something that you enjoy doing. It shouldn't be stressful all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I mean? It's impossible to completely avoid stress, but let's just be real about it. You can't be overthinking the grind. You can't be overthinking it. You want to be some kind of famous whatever. You want to get to some point in life. Bro, you can't overthink it. You got to let things come to you. Just work hard and let things come to you. Don't worry about the money that you're going to make. Don't worry about how many views you're going to get. Don't worry about, you know, all the other external factors, bro. You cannot control Control those things, bro. You have to let go of control. You have to stop trying so hard to control factors that you cannot control in your life, bro. You know what I mean? Even with girls, dog, you cannot control whether or not a girl likes you or not. All you can do is take care of yourself and be masculine and work out and make sure that you look good and all that. And whether or not she likes you is, hey, it's just up for grabs, bro. She either likes you or she doesn't. There's no reason to sit here and stress about it and worry about it, though. There's no reason for you to try to control that. That's what a lot of y'all try to do. See, that's why a lot of y'all be looking up how to spit games to girls and all this other stuff. Because you want to be in control of what girl likes you and what girl don't like you. But the fact of the matter is that game doesn't even really exist. If you are attractive or tall, you got game already, bro. That is your game, bro. And when I even talk about game, right, like how to talk to girls and stuff like that, notice that it's never a pickup line. Notice that it's never anything thing crazy that you really have to do i always say this whenever you get into seduction mode it's always kind of a playful relaxed kind of state bro in other words you're not trying at all really you're not trying to get into this girl draws you are not trying to talk to this girl like that you're just kind of just chilling and being in the moment that's what game really is that's what talking to girls really is bro it's all about being relaxed and being in that moment and not trying too hard trying too hard will always get you to a point where you know, they, it like, like you just gonna always suck, bro. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Things are always gonna go the other way when you try too hard, bro. In anything in life, bro. That doesn't mean that you don't work hard, but don't be overthinking and stressing too much, bro, because that's always gonna get you to a bad position. You have to learn how to let go of control. You have to learn to realize that you are not able to, to, to hand pick every single, every single factor that affects your life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta play with the cards that you dealt, bro. You know what I mean? That's just life. That's what life is. And if you want to enjoy life, you have to realize this so that you can keep it pushing and move on. See, some people, something happens to them and they want to control everything. Like, for example, you get broken up with by your first girl. She plays you. She cheats on you, something like that. Now your next girl, you want to control everything, control everything. Now you're doing too much right? Because cause, cause now you don't trust her. So now you're doing too much. You you check her phone all the time. You know what I mean? You always on her. You hounding her. You hounding her. You constantly texting like, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, do you still love me? Oh, you still like me? All this other stuff. You asking her questions. You looking for reassurance because your last girlfriend did you dirty. You looking for all this reassurance. Now, guess what happens? This second girl leave you because you doing too much. You got to learn how to relax and let things go with the flow, bro. This is what people are attracted to. This is what things in general, what money is attracted to. People that just elect let things come to them, bro. The more you let it come to you, the better it will be, bro. You got to understand that. Now, understand this, bro. A lot of the times, people will hold on to things, right? And not trying is about really just letting go, 
right? You have to learn how to let go and control, but you got to learn how to let go of other things in life too. Like for example, being afraid, right? Caring about what others think about you, all this other stuff. You have to learn how to let go of these things so that you can take risks in life. Because let's just be honest about it, bro. You don't have a whole lot of time on this earth, bro. You have to learn how to take those jumps. You have to learn how to take risks sometimes, bro. You're never going to get to where you want to be without taking a risk, bro. No one has ever gotten rich working a regular, basic, safe nine to five, bro. No one has ever gotten rich playing things safe, bro. You have to take that jump out the window. You have to start to take risks in your life so that you can get to where you want to be. The bigger the risk, the more you're going to uh, uh, receive on the other end of it, bro. But you got to look at it positively because when you hold on to things like fear, when you hold on to things like your perception to other people, when you hold on to things you you kind of like stop yourself from that growth you stop yourself from that growth you it's like it's like bro why would you stop yourself from progress all because of things that you cannot control bro you know what i mean why would you stop yourself from potentially being up here now now you know what i mean you play things safe like oh you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do the safe thing you know what i mean i'm just gonna do the regular basic average guy thing a regular nine to five you know what i mean regular everything regular this regular that and that's cool that's what you want to do bro but imagine doing that and stopping yourself from being what your best potential is bro you you stopping yourself from being your best version of yourself bro and it's all because of what you doing it's all because you decided not to take that risk bro you got to learn how to take risks but you can only do that if you let go of fear and you stop trying so hard to hold on to the things that you already have bro this is what you understand bro obviously be grateful for everything that you have bro but that's Stop trying so hard to hold on to it, right? Like, for example, this Mac laptop right here, okay? This is a material item right here. I love this Mac laptop. It's great. You know what I'm saying? It was expensive and stuff like that, bruh. But imagine I was in a... Oh, shoot. Imagine <laughs> imagine I was in a, in a situation to where, like, I could trade in this laptop to get something even better. I could trade in this laptop to get, like the next upgraded version whatever the say whatever the case may be but i'm holding on to it i'm like oh no i don't want to give up this laptop i don't want to give up this laptop me holding on to this laptop is stopping me from getting to that next level right now it seems like a very simple analogy and a very simple metaphor but what i'm trying to show y'all is that a lot of you hold on to things because you don't want to take that jump you don't want to take that risk you want to play it safe right so for example the school system you holding on to the safety of the school system hoping that college is going to get you that degree so that you can get a great job and start getting rich and stuff like that when nine times out of ten people don't even use their degree when nine times out of ten you got to remember that there's other people with your same degree and they're getting hired as well you're probably not going to get rich that way unless you're becoming a doctor or unless you're becoming a, a lawyer bro but if you're getting any other degree than that bro you need to stop holding on to having let go, let go of that Oh, I'm gonna hold on to the system. Let go of that fear of, oh, if I go off the rails, then something's gonna happen. Like even socially too, bro. Let go of that fear of, oh, if I if I wear the wrong thing or if I say the wrong thing, then I might lose friends. Forget all that, bro. Because as soon as you jump off that track, bro, you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for in life, bro. You're gonna find those homies that you're looking for. Because when you start going off, uh, when you when you let go of that fear and you go off the rails, you go against the grain, bro. Then you're gonna start to realize like, oh shoot, there's other people that I actually bond way better when you go against the grain you're gonna start to realize like oh shoot bro let go of that laptop you know what i'm saying trade that thing in for something better for something bigger and better bro you gotta take that risk you know what i'm saying i love this laptop but if i had the opportunity to trade it in i'd be like shoot let's go let's go let's let, let's do it but you know what i'm saying but you you in the situation you holding on to certain things because you don't wanna, you don't want to you know what i mean you want to play it safe you want to oh no 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 you want to try too hard to control variables and factors that you cannot control bro you holding on to the laptop when you can have something better it's right there for you bro you gotta understand that it even talks about this in the bible bro there's a verse that says uh whoever tries to save his life will lose it but whoever wait hold on hold on i don't want to hold on hold on let me make sure that i get the verse right bro let me make sure that i get the verse right because i promise you it talks about this in the bible bro it talks about this in the bible give me like five seconds bro whoever tries to keep okay here we go here we go here we go Boom. Luke 17, 33. Whoever tries to keep their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life will preserve it. OK, now, in this case, this is biblical. So what it's talking about is if you try to hold on to the material things in your life, if you try to hold on to the little things that don't really matter, you try to hold on to your degeneracy, you try to you drink it, smoke in the club life. You trying to hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? You try, you constantly trying to go out. You constantly trying to mess with uh, girls. That's H.O.E.s and all this other stuff. You When you try to hold on 
on to that, bro, you're going to lose your life. Literally, you're going to lose your life. Something bad is going to happen. You're going to end up unfulfilled. You're going to lose your life. Whoever loses their life will preserve it. What that means is if you stop caring so much, if you stop trying so hard to do things that don't matter, when you let things come to you and just work hard and understand like, okay, I got faith in God and I know that good things will come to me. So I'm just not going to trip about it. I mean, it's just whatever it is, what it is, what it is Now understand that things will start to come to you and you will start to be more blessed in those areas that you want to be blessed in, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when I say stop trying so hard, this covers a multitude of things. I mean, also don't be so involved in the world. A lot of people be up on, on bro. A lot of y'all be so scared about like the news and you be so panicky about the news and what's going on in the world and yada, 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 bro. Stop trying so hard to control the narrative. Let go and go live your life, bro. Let it go. Let go of the fear of the world and stuff like that, bro. Understand that, yes, there's dangerous people in the world, but the world itself is not dangerous. It's okay to go outside. It's no reason to be panicking. There's no reason for you to be constantly up on the news all the time because all the news is going to show you is to stay inside the house. That's why everybody want to stay inside the house these days. That's why nobody want to go nowhere and do nothing that's actually, you know, beneficial or productive. Everyone want to stick to the rails. Everyone want to everyone wanna care about what's going on on social media. Forget all of that, bro. Forget all of that. A lot of y'all live your own lives on social media. They say right here, whoever loses their life will preserve it, bro. Let go of that social media life, bro. Let go of that social media life so that you can preserve your real life. You know what I'm saying? Start letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. You know what I mean? Letting go is so important, bro. Everything, letting go. You got a girl that, that played you. You got a girl that cheated on you, whatever. Let go, let go. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been busy trying to make a whole lot of money. You know what I mean? You 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 in a position to where you in the slums. You in the slums right now and you and you got to work five jobs. You got to work five jobs in order to get this money, but it's just not working out. It's not working out. It's not working out. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let go. Let go. And what I mean by let go is I don't mean stop working, but what I mean is stop stressing. What I mean is stop stressing and enjoy the life around you, even if it sucks. Even if your life sucks, enjoy the life around you. You want to know why? Because not only is a blessing most likely coming to you because you're working hard and you will reap what you sow, you're going to get out of life what you put in. So don't worry about the outcome. It's going to get there. Just be patient. Okay, not only that, but you got to understand that you have to look around and enjoy life, bruh. That's why when you're on the grind, that's why you should never grind for something that you don't like. See, everyone, see, that's what nobody wants to talk about. Everyone wants to talk about the grind, the grind, the grind. You got to get to the bag. You got to get to the bag. But a lot of y'all is getting to the bag in areas that you don't even like. That's why everyone's starting a clothing brand because it's easy to start a clothing brand. Everyone want to do this, but a lot of y'all is not even passionate about it. Everyone want to start something, something, something that they're not even passionate about, but it gets them the bag. A lot of people, they do that when they go to college. They go to college, they start to, they start doing something that they're not even passionate about so that they can get to the bag bro and understand that this is going to lead to a miserable life see whoever tries to keep your life will lose it whoever hey in other words you trying to get to the bag so much because you want to have a great comfortable life but whole time you're doing something that you're not even passionate about and when you're doing that you're not even something that you're not even passionate about you losing your life because you're miserable every single second of the day you miserable on the whole grind that grind is not enjoyable for you which means that you're not going to get as high as you want to on that grind that grind is going to take way slower and you're not even going to be able to enjoy life while you're on it and you're going to waste years and years and years of your life. Some people waste their entire lives on a grind that they didn't even want to be on. All so that they can keep their life. All so that they can stay uh, 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 trying to keep their life. Stay trying to get that money. Stay trying to keep things they didn't want to let go. They didn't want to let go and realize, okay, getting to the bag don't matter as much as I think it does. Yeah, sure, I should make money. But getting to the bag is not as important as me uh, living a fulfilling life. I'm going to let go of the fear. I'm going to let go of the, I'm going to let go. And I'm going to take that jump. I'm going to take that risk, that leap of faith. That's what it all boils down to, bro. Faith. That's why you got to believe in God, bro. Because he got you, bro. He's literally, it's like bungee jumping, bro. You know what I'm saying? You jump and you fall and oh my gosh. But you know that bungee jump is going to bring you right back up, right? You know what I'm saying? You just got to remember that. You just got to remember that. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. If you got any questions, leave it down in the comment section. Make sure that you leave down whatever topic you want me to talk about next as well. I love y'all and I'm out of here, man. Peace.